Hi, guys. Hey, today we're going to talk about the migration patterns of people coming and going from California. We're going to talk about people and not birds because I had never used that, seen that term migration for people. I've seen it for birds. <laughs> for birds. But we're going to talk about people. So these are California numbers. The median sales price is $852,900. This is for the state, up 11.8% from last year. And our average sales price here around Ventura, Ventura is hovering right around a million. And days on market is down four to median days on market, 27 days. Now, this is the whole state. This the, is the state. These are statewide. The state. Yeah, statewide yeah. and only the state of California. And then the top 10 metros in California with the fastest growing sales price, number one, Walnut Creek. Number two, Lake Forest, Newport Beach, Seal Beach, Santa Ana, Costa Mesa. So um, number one, Bay Area. Because I think people are fleeing the city. Yes, they are. They're getting out of San Francisco, going through the tunnel, then ending up in Walnut Creek. Mm -hmm. Now, the homes for sale statewide is up 14.9%. Uh, so the inventory is coming up a bit. Um, and the newly listed homes are up um, almost 25% for this year. So month of, months of supply we have right now, two months. But so. that is up 25%. So mm -hmm. that means we almost had nothing to sell. That's right. So we do have a few more things. The market, um, there are more things on the market. Like in Ventura, I looked <laughs> over the weekend, there were uh, 113 active properties for sale in just in the city of Ventura. And we were down as low as 40. And that was it. So it's been, that's why it's so crazy. That's right. It usually runs around 200 in a healthy market, maybe just slightly more. So talk about the California housing demand. Um, 49.1%, so almost 50% of the homes that sold in the last year sold above the list price. And so that is a direct reflection of the market and pricing it right. Because the things that are overpriced, as always in every market, are just sitting on the market. You just can't put a price on a property and think it's going to sell at any price. It's got to be market price. It's market driven. And then the next category here, the 10 most competitive cities in California. They're almost all in the Bay Area. Number one, Dublin, Fremont, Santa Clara, Sunnyvale, Livermore, Pleasanton, San Ramon, Milpitas, Mountain View, and San Jose. So what does that tell you? All 10 in California are in the Bay Area area <laughs> in the bay area not san francisco nope. it's the suburbs of san francisco get outside of oakland you head over there dublin san ramon all the areas walnut creek that's where people are moving yeah the the these statistics say that nationwide 24 percent of home buyers search to move in a different state so about quarter of the people are looking in a different state with about 70 percent of the people looking still around where they live live now so in california the top 10 areas people are moving to from california number one phoenix number two sacramento uh, number three sarasota florida vegas cape coral florida orlando myrtle beach san diego salisbury maryland and jacksonville florida and no, then wait that, a minute wait a minute sacramento and san diego are both in california but where people are, mo are moving to not necessarily out of state oh okay Right, and then the uh, number one area is Phoenix. Yeah, uh, that's from from here. That's where they're going to Phoenix. And then where are the top ten areas that people are moving from? And number one, L.A. So they're moving from <laughs> L.A. to somewhere else, whether in the state or out of the state. But number one, L.A. Number two, New York, where people are moving away from. Number three, San Francisco, Seattle, Washington, Chicago, Boston, Philadelphia, Denver, and Portland. So that's the top 10 of where people are moving from. I just don't think it takes a genius to figure out why they're moving from those cities. Right. They're all big <laughs> cities and people are getting out of them. That's right. So, if you're in San Francisco, you're headed to the burbs. If you're in L.A., you're headed out of state. That's right. So I just thought those were interesting numbers on migration because we've had various reports that we follow to see where people are moving. Um, one of them, every, uh, every year when it comes out, is United Van Lines always posts a survey on where the trucks are going. And so that's always interesting. But this is the first time it kind of had a really comprehensive set of data on where people are moving to and from. Yeah, United Van Lines, that's probably a great source. I would think another great source would be pods. 
They, you know, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's the guy that's putting his own stuff in there and then throwing it on a truck. Right. Well, in U-Haul, U-Haul, we've you're heard right. stories that you know U-Haul that you it costs you so much more, three or four times more, to take a truck out of California than it does to bring one back. So if people are moving to California, I think they like give you your truck for free. I'm no, kidding, but <laughs> well, it feels close. it feels like it compared to we've had clients that we've heard about that have driven or flown out of state to Phoenix or somewhere and driven a truck back because it was so much che- uh, cheaper than renting it here. Yeah, so, drove yeah. it back, then filled it up, and then, and then drove it back again. Right. Yes. But they went and got the truck in another state. So um, anyway, all kinds of crazy stories we have. You want to talk about crazy real estate stories, you know we love to talk about them. So uh, thinking about buying or selling a home, we'd love to be your resource. JerryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thank you.